in the Métis cultural teachings. If you have some type of skill, knowledge, gift, you need to pass it down through the generations. Give it to someone else who is ready to absorb it and, and has earned the right to it. given the freedom as a child to bond with the land without adults interfering and create your own relationship and use your imagination, that is the source of how I develop that creative consciousness and creative practice and creative flow. The North Saskatchewan River where I live, it is the source of life. The river has certainly been a huge influence in my artistic practice and I think one of the the most important artists is Mother Earth herself. She has created such beautiful colors and patterns and textures. She has just the most vibrant artistic practice. She's a creator, she births life all the time. And then I have other inspirations. So people will notice there's dots and patterns and strange colors combined. That's because I love traditional beadwork <laughs> and I have a new way of interpreting that in my contemporary artwork. Intergenerational mentorship is a big part of what I believe in. The Man Art Gallery is our wonderful community art gallery here in the city of Prince Albert. I have been supported by them in my artistic practice and I was gifted with being able to implement a Métis mentorship project last year and we did several outdoor installations. Together I taught her and we co-collaborated and she's carrying on that tradition. And I feel it's a way for me to pass on some of my knowledge and success and experience to up and coming Métis community women. Reconciliation through arts is just such a good way to get the dialogue going and I really support um, people getting involved with Indigenous artists and approaching them in a respectful way because I think there's a real desire for the community members to participate and it's the right time to approach. Canada is just going to grow stronger when they can hear the voices of Indigenous people. We have a knowledge set that needs to be shared and we want to share it. We want to share our love and perspective, especially about the land.